as a part of brute force approaches we'll be discussing the sequential search and pattern matching in this particular video so before going on to the algorithm giving a brief idea about uh, sequential search it is also called a straightforward algorithm or linear search algorithm so in this algorithm basically we have a key value so and an array is taken so our main aim is to check that if this key value is present in this array or not so if key value is present in the array then we get that particular um, uh, index position as the output if not we get minus 1 as the output so this is here we have the program in uh, the algorithm initially i is taken as 0 let me write an example here so i'll take 15 12 and 7 10 and 8 here as the elements array a with 0 1 2 3 and 4 here i have taken totally five elements but the indexing starts from 0 to 4 okay so here I initially i'll take i is equal to 0 Next, I have a while loop that is i should be less than n and here I have a of i should not be equal to k. If this is satisfied, then we need to jump inside. Now, k value I'll take. Um, suppose k value I want 7. Okay. k value is 7. I've specified 7. I'll check for 7 now. Okay. So, let me start from uh, i is equal to 0. So, initially i is equal to 0. Here, 0 is less than n. n is 5. Yes, this is satisfied true and and a of i a of i is a of 0 uh, a of 0 that is 15 15 is not equal to k k value is 7 this is also true if both are true then i need to jump into the next part that is increment the value i is equal to i plus 1 these two are true right so i can write true here i is equal to i plus 1 now i value 1 is less than 5 true and here I have a of 1. a of 1 is 12. Is not equal to 7. This is again true. Again true here. If both are true. Then jump into i is equal to i plus 1. So I will get i is equal to 2 here. Next i is equal to 2. 2 is less than 5. This is true. And here I have a of 2. That is 7 is not equal to 7. Is this true? No. This is not true. Right. This is false here. 1 true 1 false. It will become false only. So when I get false here, uh, when I get false here, then I, I will return the i value here. So I, I, I've got false here, right? So I return the i value. Here i value is, what is the i value here? 2. So i is equal to 2. This, uh, this says that the required key, k is equal to 7 was present at second index position in given array A. So that is what this implies. So now that we have looked into the uh, algorithm part, let's deal with the analysis part now. So let me write analysis. So my first step taking the input size so here i am considering n elements right so uh, the size of array is n next step uh, that is the basic operation identifying the basic operation what is the basic operation being used here here i am using the comparison operation right so comparison operation is being used next step i need to compute a formula right but then here we don't have any loops don't have any for loops when we don't have any for loops, what will we do? We can directly deduce the best, worst and average cases. Let's look into this. How can this be done? So writing for best case. So if the key element is found at first position itself if key element is found at the first position itself then we'll have only one comparison right so if uh, only one comparison means i can write c of best of n is equal to one this was about c of best now i'll write the worst case so in worst case uh, we have two possibilities um if k is not present in array 
और इफ के इज प्रेजेंट इन एन माइनस वन पोजिशन सो फॉर दीज टू कंडीशन द फॉर दीज टू कंडीशन आर आई वैल्यू हैज टू इटरेट टिल द एंड राइट सो दैट इज इट हैज टू कवर ऑल एन वैल्यूज सो हियर वी कैन राइट सी ऑफ वर्स्ट फॉर एन एलिमेंट्स इज एन इट सेल्फ देन वी हैव सी ऑफ एवरेज C of average we can take average of C of best plus C of worst that is n plus one by two. So here I have obtained the average. So this was about uh, sequential search. Now let's look into pattern matching algorithm. So so pattern matching algorithm. So it is also called as brute force pattern matching or string matching. so in this we'll be considering two uh, strings one is the main string and the other one is the pattern string okay so t is the main string or the text string and the other one is pattern string so text string will have n characters from 0 to n minus 1 and the pattern string will have 0 to m minus 1 characters so now let's look into uh the algorithm part so implementing the brute force matching input we have decided output is index of first character in the text that starts a matching substring uh, if the matching uh, pattern is present in the text if not we get minus 1 okay so firstly we take the length of uh, p and t that is uh, we store it in m and n then for loop for i is equal to 0 to n minus m do and for j is equal to 0 to j is equal to 0 i have taken j is equal to 0 next while j is less than m and p of j is equal to t of i plus 1 do so if this is satisfied j is equal to j plus 1 if j is equal to m return i else if this fails then return minus 1 so we'll understand this with an example so let me um, let me take two strings here i'll write the text string as a b b b a b a b a a and b so this is about the text string okay so let me write the index values 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 i have got 10 values here totally i have got 11 elements here i have taken 10 okay next step next i have to write the pattern so for pattern i have a b a, a. i'll write a b a and a okay here 0 1 2 and 3 so i have got three elements okay so i'll start with uh, m the let me find m is equal to str len of p length of p is 11 and n is equal to str len of t uh, sorry p p length is 1 2 3 4 4 8 right? 4 and n length is um, str len of t that is 11 For i is equal to zero to n minus m do i is equal to zero to n minus m n is eleven eleven minus four that is seven I've got seven here so next I have taken j value as zero while j is less than m while j is less than m zero is less than four and p of j what is p of j P of zero is equal to t of i plus j. Zero plus zero is zero. If these two are satisfied, zero is less than four. True. P of zero. P of zero is a is equal to t of zero. A. Both are true. If both are true, then j is equal to j plus one. J value updated to one. Okay. If j is equal to m. J J is equal to M. No, J is not equal to M. So we keep on repeating this. So initially we are checking if these two are same. Yes, these two are same. Then we'll update the J value. Now I'll check for J is equal to one. So one is less than four. True. And P of one is equal to T of one. If this is true, let me check. P of one. Um, P of one I have is B, and T of one is also B. So again, this is true. Both are true. Then J value increment. these two are matched these two are matched done now i'll check these two okay so let me check those two so i have 2 less than 4 this is true and here p of 2 is t is equal to t 
t of 2 is p of 2 is equal to t of 2 no so here i have false so if these uh, this condition fails then i need to increment the i value okay i need to increment the i value okay so i value would be 1 now so again i i, I have to shift this this particular thing okay so let me uh, draw it in the next page so i have so previously so previously we checked in the last page that these two were matching but these two were different when these two were different we incremented the i value right so i value got incremented so now this will shift here so it will be like we'll have a here b here a here and a here so we'll check b and a no it is not same so again increment i value these two are not same right so again i'll increment the i value now again i'll have a b a a here so let me check b and a are same no again increment so i'll have a b a a is the same no again increment a b a a a a same b b same a a same but b and a is different here so again increment so i'll have a b a a here let me check for this part here I have um, B and A. No, it is not same. Again, increment this. So I have A, B, A, A. So if I check here, A is here, A is here, done. B is here, B is here, A is here, A is here, A is here, A is here. So this, the shifting part, I'm be, I, I have, uh, I'm, I'm doing this with the help of the algorithm. Uh, I have explained for the first part, right? It goes the same for the for rest of the steps. So this was about the string matching algorithm once i have found this part i can write it as successful search and the string is matched at position what is the position 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it starts from position 6 to 7 8 9 to 9 position this was about the example to understand the uh, pattern matching or string matching algorithm. Now we'll look into the analysis part. Analysis part. So in order to analyze this uh, this particular algorithm, we can directly write. So considering the worst case. So let me write for the worst case. I know the t values. I know the uh, text string and the pattern string. In order to check if the pattern string is present in the text string or not, I need to iterate it. Uh, these num these many number of times for t i have taken n and for p i have taken m right so i have to iterate n number of times into uh, p also i have to keep on iterating till m number of times so if pattern is not found then i have to iterate order of n into m number of times so this was uh, if the pattern is not found Next, I have a pattern found at last bits in text. So if the pattern is found at the last bits in text, then I can write it as n minus m plus 1. Because n minus m, whatever the difference is, that much would be the last bit, right? So if uh, n value I have 10 and m value is 4. So in out of 10 values, last four values i'm getting the value of the pattern right so cutting this much i'll be remaining with six so i have to iterate six number of times but then if i'm starting from zero then it will be six plus one that is seven so that is that's why i've written n minus m plus one order we go of this now writing for c average so if i'm writing for c average uh, it could be something like uh, if it is found at the second or third position itself in that case I can iterate it n plus m times so there is no c best case can't be derived here because even if it is found at the first position itself then it has to iterate this these many number of times that is n number of times into or plus m number of times so this was about pattern matching algorithm uh, I, I have completed all the brute force approaches so far. 
If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.